Hi, in this video I will be showing you how you can use the skeleton animation tool and our templates. So first you want to estimate the skeleton so you get the pose. Then in this case I'm just gonna edit a bit just to make sure the uh, length of the arms are the same. And then I'm gonna select the template I want to use which is running in this case and then uh, click insert skeleton. Uh, make sure that your camera view and direction is the same as your character then you're ready to go. If you can't find a camera view that fits your character uh, don't worry, uh, just insert the one that fits the best and then you can do edits by hand afterwards or you can just try and see how well it works. Here uh, I'm happy with my first generation so I don't need to do a retry but in your case you might need to or you might need to change some settings or move the uh, the pose a bit just to make it fit your character better you can also try in painting or init images i'm just gonna check here uh, what is the arm and what is uh, the elbow etc just because it's a bit hard to see so what i did there i was uh, i used the edit tool and i click on the point and then i can see in the ui uh, the name of the point. Here I'm just copy pasting the head from my original character. The reason for this is the template doesn't perfectly match the uh, angle my character is. So the uh, generated character is facing a bit uh, upward with her face. So I think it looks better if I just copy paste over the original face. And to generate the last four frames, I'm just gonna position myself at the sixth frame and then click generate. I'm pretty happy with uh, three of the frames. So what I will do is I will first fix them and then once I'm happy with them I'm gonna uh, generate the sixth frame again. But this time I'm gonna start two frames before and have one frame behind. Which means that the model will be able to take inspiration from the first and second and fourth frame to generate the third frame. Alright, I'm done with the editing, now I'm just gonna position myself uh, so the 6th frame is in the middle and then click generate. This will let the model see the frames before and after to create a better generation. And here I'm just gonna fix the coloring a bit and then uh, I'm done. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, Leave a like or a comment if you have any questions and I will see you next time.